All right, you guys. So uh, I'm gonna go to the back of the handout on the bottom part. I'm gonna just fold it for some notes of inequalities. So we have our symbols, all right? It's four symbols that kind of replace the equal sign. So this is uh, less than. This one is uh, greater than. Now this one is with the uh, little half equal sign on the bottom. So it's going to be less than or equal to. Less than or equal. And this one we have greater than or equal. That's what this little dash is. This little dash is like the bottom of the equal sign. Like you get rid of one of them. This is my equal sign. The bottom one is this part right here. So we have a couple of symbols that we're doing. Now, what I want to do is just draw some uh, basic graphs, all right, to represent what's going on. So basically, we have a graph that looks like this, and they're not always going to go up, but you know, just for the notes. These are going to have a dashed line, or like open circles, right? So y'all already kind of know that rule. We use open circles. And this one, you have the dots, and these look like regular lines, okay? Now, it doesn't matter which direction they're going. They could be going up, they could be going down, it doesn't matter. What happens is when we have something that's less than, there's some shading that goes on um, that represents the same thing as these right here. So... Less than means the bottom part of the graph is going to be shaded in. And we're going to see it on the calculator in a little bit. Greater than means the top part of the graph is shaded in. So just like shade, shade, shade. Less than or equal to. Again, this is a regular line, but less than means it shades from the bottom. So I'm going to start shading from the bottom. And we're going to go all the way to the line. On this one, I actually want to touch the line. Like make it obvious that you're touching the line because the answers are all the shaded part here. Greater than or equal to means that I'm gonna to touch the line. And again, I'm making it obvious that I'm touching the line. This one, I should have mentioned that I'm not really touching it. I kind of touched it a little bit. This one, that's my, that's my fault. I shouldn't have done that. Should be a little bit of space. Because the answers are only on the shaded part and a regular line, you can have an answer here or you can have an answer in here. Damn, I should have thought this. Uh, right here, you can have an answer right here. You can have an answer on the line. That's good. All right. These points are good. Try to make it obvious that there's some points here. Now, on these where the dashed lines are, I cannot put a circle here. This does not count. My answers are only going to be in the shaded part. All right. This is where my answers can be. My answers cannot be on the line. If there's something on the line, it has to be an open circle. Right? It has to be an open circle because it does not work there. Only the shaded part is good. Okay. <clears throat> and you can't have any dots on the non-shaded parts, basically. So that's the basic notes. You know, as long as you know which way to shade, which line to use, all right, this should be a little bit easy. And we're gonna go ahead and try on the calculators. All right, now, the reason I'm not using Desmos is because Desmos can actually not shade graphs, all right? They, these calculators actually can, so I'm going to try to get the glare out of here, all right? So let's reset it, second plus, 712, reset your calculator. And let's just try some test ones before we do anything, all right? So we can't put the symbols in here the way that we we want to. This is already the y equals part of my graph, all right, like that. But let's go ahead. We're going to put that 4x plus 2. All right, it's nice and easy. 4x plus 2. Now, if I were to go ahead and just like push trace, and you can push graph or trace. I like trace because we get some points here. Now, one thing I'm going to do, 0, 2 is on the line. All right. And we have 0, 2 here. Now, be careful, though. This symbol means that we have to use some type of an open circle. It also means that we're going to have like a dash line. And the less than means that we're going to shade below. So this is what it's supposed to look like. 
but we're gonna use the calculator to tell us how to do it. So when I push trace, I get that zero two. I'm gonna put an open circle on zero two right here. Now the reason I like trace is because I can ask for some other ones. So look, these are going by twos. You see that? So I'm gonna put like two, four, six, eight. So if I put the two right here, x equals two. It says, well, 210 can work. So 210 is up here. I'm gonna go to two, and 10 is all the way at the end. Put open circle. Remember, it has to be open because we're using a dash line. And now let's do negative. So I'm guessing negative two might be down here, but let's try. You have to put in, sorry, trace, push trace. Negative two, tell the calculator. Oh, look at that. Look, negative two, negative six. Be careful, so it's not. So negative two right here, negative six is right here. Open circle. And now we're gonna connect these using a dashed line because this is less than. Like that, so that's my graph. Now the shading part. So the way that the shading works on the calculator, less than means it has to shade on the bottom, but I'm just gonna show you so you can kind of see, because later on th this is gonna matter. Right now it doesn't really matter that much, but you have your little blinker right here. I want to move it all the way to this line part. All right, so you should be blinking right here. Move it to the side. Use the arrows. Move it to the side. Push enter. So I can change the color, whatever color I want. I'm going to leave it as blue. Now I'm going to move right here where it says line. And I'm going to move this to the right side. You can see this little triangle going up. This means you want to shade above. But this next little triangle, and I push to the right side. If you go the other way, guys, you're still going to find it. You just have to go all the way around. All right, shading below is this triangle in the calculator. Okay, it has, it's always gonna be this one. It's always gonna face this way. Uh, we're gonna push enter for okay. And then when I push trace again, watch. Boom. So my graph is a dashed line going this way with all this part being shaded. So do not touch the dashed line. I want you to just kind of get close to it, but don't touch it because those are not the answers. The answers can only be on the shaded part. All right. So I'm going to put a dot anywhere here on the shaded part, and that's going to be the answer. Something like 80 can be an answer. That's good. Check. Look, even the point, the origin, the origin is in the shaded part. It gets really close, but it's inside of the shaded part. It doesn't touch the line. So check. Zero, zero will work. <clears throat> All right. So let's move on. So now we have this symbol right here, greater than or equal to. All right, let me look at my notes. Greater than or equal to means I'm going to use a regular line. I can use dots. And it shades on the top part. All right, so here, let me put that here. I'm going to use a dot for my points. I'm going to have like a regular line. And I should put like arrows here too. My bad. And this one shades above since it's greater than and it touches the line. So it's gonna look something like this. Make sure you're touching the line, blah, blah, blah. So y equals, all right, let's try this one. So let's set it up. Go back to y equals, just clear everything out. I have 10 minus x. Now I'm gonna do the shading right now too. I'm gonna to move my little arrow because when I push clear, it resets it. You have to go all the way to the side. All right, push enter and then go to the right side. No, my bad, I'm changing the color, my fault. Go down to where it says line. All right, this is the shade above one. When the triangle's on the top, that's the shade above. So I'm gonna go ahead and push OK, keep it blue, trace. So now my line, look, 0, 10 is one of my points. So 0 and then 10, I can actually put a dot. So I'm gonna put a dot right here, that's an answer, because it has the line under there. And let me try, remember, we're one by twos, so let me go and put two. 2, 8, okay, that's good. So positive 2, positive 8 is right here. Let's go to 4, 4, 6, that's good. So positive 4, positive 6, 6, enter, 6, 4. So 6 going to 4 right here, and let's do 8 and 10. 8, 2. So 8, 2 is right here, and then we have 10. I'm thinking of 10 is 0. Let's try. 10, 0. Yeah, 10, 0. Nice. <clears throat> now we're going to connect these with 
a regular line and make sure you go all the way through all the points go all the way up and down put your little arrows at the end we have to get used to putting these arrows guys we should really get used to putting these arrows because it goes on forever and I'm only going to shade this area so I'm going to get close to it or I'm going to actually touch it oh my bad I shouldn't have shaded outside that's eh, fine shading I'm shading touch the line touch the line we're good so now my answers can be on the line, that's why we have dots, or they can even be here, all right? Something like that point right there. Or I can even like this corner, that's 10, 10. This is inside the shaded area, okay? Anything that's in the shaded area is good. Or even this stuff that's on the line. These are answers, these are answers. Before, only the shaded was answers, the circles are not answers, all right? It doesn't touch it. <clears throat> so let's see. So let's just uh, clean this up. We're going to do some kick and divide. So this is a regular one and it's a positive Y. So that's good. All you have to do is move the X number this way. And the Y, we have Y, one Y right there, greater than, all right, one. And it's going to be plus X or one X, sorry, because that's a negative one. Oh, I messed this up. Totally messed that up. So y is greater than, 1y is greater than, okay, and then let's we'll see opposite of a negative, it should be a positive 1x, and I got this positive 1 chilling, okay, there you go, that was better. Then you divide by this positive 1, so this cancels out, y is greater than x plus 1 divided by 1. Put some parentheses if I want, I could put it like this. All right, ones can just technically disappear, but you know, we'll leave it like that. Because I want to show you how to put this in the calculator. I know we did this in decimals, but the reason I left it like this is because I want to show you how to put it in the calculator, this type of calculator. So, greater than what type of a uh, symbol? We're using circles. We're going to have like a dashed line. And greater than means we're shading above. We're not touching the line. We're shading above. So, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so if I go here, I want to get the fraction. I'm going to push alpha x, get that fraction, parentheses. All right, x right here, use this x, plus 1, close parentheses, go to the bottom, just put your 1. So it's kind of like what we were doing in decimals before. And let's go all the way to the side, go to the right, I'm sorry, the left, the other right, this way. Let's change it, and we're going to shade above because this is greater. So right here, that little top triangle right there. Okay, and let's trace. So what I got here, I got zero, one. So pause, so I know zero, positive one. I'm going to put an open circle. So zero, one line up, put a circle. Uh, let's put some two, watch, two, three. So two, going up three lines. One, two, three, that's a circle right here. All right, let's do four. Four, five, so positive four, and then one, two, three, four, five. All right, that's enough going this way. Let's go the other way. Let's do some negatives. So I'm going to put negative two to see what happens. So I'm on trace, type in a negative two. So negative two, negative one, negative two, down one, open, still with the open circle. Let's do negative four, yeah. Negative four, negative three. So I'm at the negative four number, and then one, two, three lines down. And that's enough, guys. About five is enough. <clears throat> From here, guys, we connect it, putting a dash line. So make it obvious that this is a dash line going all the way past everything. All right, you want to put like a line in between these, whatever, it's all good. It's okay they touch a little bit because the line has space in the middle. That's what, the, that's what the circles are for. This goes on forever. This goes on forever. And according to the calculator, my shading above is this way. So don't touch the line, just get really close and shade. Don't touch it, don't touch it. All this right here is the shaded part. So that means my answers, I can only put dots in this area. So I can put a dot like over here somewhere, we got one. Could put a dot right here, even right here. This is all good. 
You cannot put a dot on the line. It's a dashed line. It doesn't work like that. <clears throat> so all these points are the answers. This is like negative 2, positive 4, 0, 10. Even right here, like negative 10, 0 is good. These are all good. All right. So let's, uh, you're going to put this one, finish this one right here on the back. This one's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. All right. This one is just like regular kick and divide. You should be able to do that. So this one will help you because you got fractions. So kick the X over. Which one is the X? Whoa, be careful. This is the Y number. This is the X number. This is going to kick over. All right. And then it becomes opposite. So I have positive. So I have 3 eighths y is less than, and then I have, what's next, what's next? Um, opposite of a negative 1 fourth is a regular 1 fourth x plus 3 fourths. And then all this divided by the y number, which is another fraction, 3 eighths. All right, they got to chill with this. This is crazy. All right. <clears throat> so we have y. So this is a open circle. This is a dashed line, and it is going to shade below here. Okay. Now, this is kind of crazy to type in the calculator, but let's try. Go to y equals. All right, so alpha x, which is a fraction right here, parentheses. Now, look, on this one, we actually have another fraction, so we have to alpha x again with a little one-fourth, and then uh -oh, x right there plus, and then alpha x again, three-fourths. Now, guys, if you know the decimals, you can put the decimals, all right? You know, I'm just trying to make it look like the picture. And on the bottom, alpha x again, because we have a three. Look, it doesn't even want to fit eight. Man, that's crazy. Okay. And we know this is going to shade, so I need to move all the way to the left side. I'm pushing this button a bunch of times until I get over here. And we're going to shade below, so I'm going to go to the right. No, no, dang it, we're line, sorry. Let me change it back to blue. And this is the shade below one. So you have to go to the right side two times. Okay, and let's graph. All right, I'm only going to pick a couple points here. Um, so look, watch, 0, 2. We're going to use an open circle. So I'm at the center. This is the Y line. 0, 2, put an open circle right here. And then let me type in 4. I'm just going to go straight to 4 over here. No, see, look, watch. This is why. Okay, that's so that's not going to work. Try 2. No, it's still not going to work. Okay, let's put. Okay, no. Uh, dang. Oh, 3. Now, one way to kind of look for the points without guessing, because right now I just guessed 3, and then I got a whole number. So let's do that. So I'm at 2. So 3 is right here, going all the way to the 4 line. So instead of always guessing on this trace part, I can go where it says table, watch, second graph, and it gives me the points. Look, see, 0, 2, 3, 4. Look, like 6, 6 is another one. 6, 6 is another one. And then I can go over to the negative side. So scroll up. Like negative 3, 0. So right here I'm going to go to negative 3. And then it's on the line 0 like that. And I can look for another set of whole numbers, and this will be my last one. Negative 6, negative 2. So negative 6, negative 2, like that. And then I'm supposed to connect it with the dash line. All right, this is the hardest one, guys. Don't get me wrong. This is just crazy. And then shade it below, but do not touch the line. I have some colors, guys. You don't want colors, I got colors, so you can color and make it look pretty. Do not touch the line, get close to it, but don't touch it. All right, <clears throat> so my answer is like, uh, like this right here. Put a dot, this is positive 10, negative 10. That works. Right here, even this one, this will be like going to the right, so it's gonna be like 10 comma zero works. Even the zero, stay in the middle, but go all the way down, zero comma negative 10 works. All right. So these are all points. These are all answers right here. Everything in the shaded part. Oof, this is crazy. All right. So you got these left. You have number five. You have number three. 
And um, there's an extra ticket. The extra ticket's gonna be short. All right, so finish this up. 